Hey guys, I want to talk to you about why being self-sufficient is a superior way to control your economy. When I return on the Eric McNeil Be Free Show. Black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Hey guys, welcome. You've just discovered the Eric McNeil Be Free Show, where it's all about being financially independent, responsible for self, enjoying life, and empowering others free. So uh, today, let me see if I can adjust this just a bit. But today I want to uh, talk to you about why um, being self-sufficient is about the most superior uh, way that you can live. It's, you know, it, it provides you with a superior economy. Um, I wasn't able to make it to the site this week. I wanted to do a video, um, but I wasn't on our progress, but I wasn't able to make it to the site. So I had uh, Brandon to send me some photos. So I'll show those photos uh, toward the end, at the end of the video to show you our progress out there. And um, we've been getting pretty far. Um, we're doing the foundation, so I'll show you that at the end. But I, I just wanted to briefly speak to you. You know, the last video, I was just talking about how this is September, and September could bring some a very volatile market, uh, stock markets, crypto markets, all these markets. Uh, in September, you know, today is actually that infamous 911 date uh, that um, we all remember. Uh, many years ago. So um, today is that day and you know, of course it's Sunday so the markets are closed but tomorrow, um, you know, uh, I mean I was looking at the uh, charts and I actually posted something on my Facebook page that uh, talked about the important dates and uh, I'll tell you what those the important dates that will help determine the market direction for this month. And, you know, and if you are concerned about what's going to happen in the market, then it's best to know these dates. And um, the first date is September the 13th, which is tomorrow. And this date is basically when the U.S. Consumer Price Index information will be released. That's the inflation data to determine whether inflation is going up or going down, whatever. Now, if that report is released and the inflation rate is uh, better than or less than what has been forecast, then likely the markets will pump uh, based on that news, right? So I think um, it's been forecast to be like 8.1%. Um, so if it beats 8.1%, then you can expect a market pump to happen uh, starting tomorrow. Um, the next important date is, uh, I mean, you know, but only, you know, let me just say this, that on the flip side, if that inflation data is, you know, significantly higher than what has been forecast, then you can expect a dump. Simple as that. Now, let, let me preface this stuff by saying I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. I'm just a man, you know, who got a camera talking, so please do your own research, okay? All right, so, uh, but at any rate, the next important date is September the 19th. And for those of you who follow cryptocurrency uh, very closely, you know that there's a very, very important case going on now uh, where the SEC is suing a cryptocurrency company by the name of Ripple, who makes a token called XRP. Um, the, the, on September the 19th, they're going to release most of the documentation. It will become public. Uh, it, so it shows you, you know, uh, everybody's cards will be laid on the table. You'll see who have the strongest hands. If the SEC have a stronger case or if Ripple has a stronger case. If the SEC has a stronger case, then you can expect some market sell-offs. 
if Ripple has a stronger case, you can expect the market pump. Okay, as simple as that. Uh, let's see, the third important date in September is, let's see, September 2021. Uh, the U.S. Um, Federal Reserve uh, Chairman, you know, Board Chairman, I guess Jerome Powell, would be making an announcement to determine whether the inflation rate is significantly low enough where they don't have to raise interest rates or they need to be more, as they call it, hawkish uh, and continue to raise rates. Now, if they have to raise rates, they announce they're raising rates again, then it's going to hurt the market. But if they announce that, hey, they're not raising rates, it's going to help pump the market. Now, you know, based on how the charts look, it looks as though we can expect a pump at this point. But that stuff can change just like that on the drop of a dime, you know, based on news and stuff. But just purely looking at the charts, it looks like September is gearing up to be a major pump. Now, they might dump it. You know, you know, they'll dump it. They'll, they'll pump it, especially the crypto markets. Man, they'll pump that thing up 200% on you. And then you get in, you be getting in at the top. And as soon as you get in, <laughs> they dump it another 50, 60 percent on you. So uh, this is why I say self-sufficiency is the best, uh, you know, way to control your economy. Right. Because when you're self-sufficient, it means like, you know, you plant your own food, you know, um, you're dependent on yourself and you can uh, predict yourself, but you can't predict these economies. These things are manipulated, guys. You, you, you don't know that yet. The economy, uh, these markets are manipulated. I mean, when you out there, you invested in these markets, you trade against supercomputers and, and things like that, man, big data. So they know exactly uh, what cause. It's like you, you plan against, you know, you go into the casino and you gambling against the house. You think you can beat the house? No, they can, you know, they can let you win a few hands, but sooner or later, uh, they're going to get you. And this is how most of these markets are because they're manipulated, man. So, um, you know, and I'm not telling you don't invest in markets and stuff like that. You know, I mean, um, I'm invested in markets, but I'm just telling you that the um, far majority of the people don't win in, in markets and stuff, you know, so... Um, be, uh, you know, get to a point where you can be more self-sufficient, right? Because when you plant food, that's just like printing money. You're not as dependent on this dollar. When you plant that food, that's like, man, you uh, making your own money. Counterfeit, you know, uh, you know, you can't counterfeit money, right? But if you... Um, Plant food, man, it's just as good. So being self-sufficient is superior. When I was uh, living in the mountain, um, and I would go walk down, you know, the mountain past the village people, and they had the little, you know, family had the uh, little village right there. And they grew all their own food for the most part. You know, they had all kind of food growing. And they wasn't concerned about what was going to happen in the market tomorrow. <laughs> they could care less about the economy. Like, oh, you know, the economy is bad. Mm, they didn't care about that as long as their food was growing, as long as that corn was growing, that cassava was growing, that okra was growing, you know, as long as all that food was out there, tomatoes was growing, man, plantains and bananas and mangoes was growing. They did not care as long as they goats and they sheep and they chickens uh, were okay. They didn't care about the economy. They didn't care because see, in the economy, you know how they do it. It's like every uh, so many years, you know, they build every eight, ten years, they just build the economy up and have you all excited. Oh, we got such a great economy. And then they crash it. They crash it when you, you're a business and you've made all these investments. Then they crash it on you and you got these loans taken out. 
if you're a homeowner, you purchase your home and you got this 30 year loan variable rate, then it crashed the economy on you. You can no longer afford it. And now let's assume you've been in your home for five, you know, 10 years and you've been making payments and uh, all of a sudden the economy crashes on you and your variable rate, you know, shoots up maybe from 3% and goes all the way up to 6%. So you can't afford the mortgage anymore. So the bank comes to you and tells you know, hand it over. You know, your house is no longer your house and they're going to sell it, you know, because you, or you can't sell it. They tell you, you know, you have a chance to sell it before we come and take it away from you. And you end up losing all of the equity that you put in that house and you're starting back over at square one. And they do this over and over and over and over, you know. Um, you, you, you can't beat them, guys. I'm telling you. So this is why uh, just going out and just, you know, becoming self-sufficient, getting you a little piece of land, you know, trying to uh, get you a house that you can afford and um, nothing fancy and just be comfortable, you know, grow your own food, um, be with a network, around a network of people that can help you get through the difficult times. Uh, this is the way that we were meant to live, but all the stuff that uh, we're doing and we're depending on now, it's just not going to be, it's not sustainable. It's not sustainable by any uh, way whatsoever. You know, we, we get all excited, like right now, um, they got us teetering on the edge. You know, one month, hey, it's about to be a market crash, market crash, and, um, you know, and then next month, you know, they pump the markets 100% on you. <laughs> then as soon as you get excited, they dump them on you. So, um, yeah, you don't have to worry about that when it comes to growing your own garden, growing to feeding yourself. Uh, another thing, you know, I was talking about on my, I posted on my Facebook page was about these, uh, these oils, these vegetable oils, because I, I never... You know, I always tell people, I hate these vegetable oils that, you know, all of you so-called healthy people, these vegans and stuff, and, you know, you, you eating these oils uh, because they sound good. Safflower, sunflower, grapeseed, canola. Yeah, that canola is better, it's better than... Uh, <laughs> all those oils are terrible oils. They're terrible. Um, and that's just another way... Uh, why I say, you know, if you self-sufficient and you doing your own thing, you can, you know, you remember in the old days, some of you guys don't remember this, but the old people, back in the old days, they used to make their oils. They used to make lard and they used to make their butter. And back then, you know, they started telling people that all those oils are bad. You need to replace them um, with these new uh, vegetable oils. They're much more healthier for you. And um, come to find out that those oils are just some of the worst oils imaginable. And, you know, in, across Africa, they decimated their uh, their oils business. You know, Africa used to produce, you know, lots of uh, coconut oil and palm uh, seed oil and palm, you know, palm kernel oil and palm oil. Um, and they told them no, that was unhealthy. Those are some of the best oils. <laughs> Those are some of the best oils you can use, guys. Those are the best oils you can use. Like, literally, here's, here's um, your measurement, my measurement for healthy oils. If you could take, and you can take the ingredients in your backyard and your mom, or, you know, can make that oil with no laboratory equipment, then that's a good oil. But if it takes all these complicated labs and all this industrialization to make the oil, leave it alone. Leave it alone. And this is how, you know, they get us to be um, dependent on these things that are harmful to us, guys. We get so wrapped up into, you know, all this expensive stuff and I want a big screen TV and all this I want to be have the the biggest nicest car on earth and 
um, they make us uh, independent with that stuff. You know, um, in New York, if you in New York City, you know, you, you pretty much got to take what they give you. You ain't, you ain't growing no garden. You ain't making your own oils. And so you got whatever they hand you down, you know, boom, that's what you have to deal with, right? You in New York City, you in London, you know, whatever. Um, man, you are totally dependent on, on that system. And that system does not have your health at heart, you know. You, you now eating artificial burgers and stuff, you know. Um, impossible burger, <laughs> beyond meat, yeah, you know, um, whatever that stuff is that Kevin Hart got going on, you know, yeah, if I had posted that, I think I talked about that last time, Kevin Hart and his restaurant, uh, vegan restaurant, vegan, vegan doesn't translate to healthy guys, right, that, I promise you, just because you, uh, people say they vegan, that doesn't translate to healthy, you know. Um, but yeah, that's, you know, that's neither here nor there. It's just a thought I had. Uh, I'm just trying to make you understand why being self-sufficient is superior to being dependent on these markets retiring you. And, you know, these markets go up and down and uh, you can't depend on that. You can't, but I, I can depend on uh, you know, the creator, God, making, you know, uh, water in the earth and, and making food, for plants grow. I can depend on that, right? That's pretty consistent, right? So, um, yeah, but all this other stuff, man, I, you can't depend on. You really can't. So at any rate, I just wanted to come on there right quick and share this with you. Um, yeah, so, you know, be on the lookout. This September, man, it's going to be volatile in the markets. I, you know, it's, it's going to be real volatile. Um, you know, let's say right now it's looking like it might be a, a decent-sized pump coming in the markets. And if that happens, you know, that means that the U.S. dollar index, you know, it goes down. Um, when the dollar index goes down, the markets pump. When the markets pump, dollar index, uh, uh, I mean, when the, Dollar index go down, the markets pump. Dollar index go up, the markets dump. That's how it is. So, um, yeah. So at any rate, um, yeah, I'm gonna show you these photos of uh, our progress, and uh, I should be out there on site this week with a nice video. But uh, here are the photos. So enjoy. Um, and you know, if you haven't already done so, uh, go ahead and uh, hit me up on uh, Facebook you know, uh, facebook.com forward slash Eric McNeil is free. And, you know, definitely check out our website, www.migratingcoachacrossing.com. And please, you can still take advantage of our half price home promo. Um, I've had somebody ask me, you know, it made the comment that, hey, Eric, uh, your houses are so expensive, 40000 for the studio and 150000 for a uh, <clears throat> three bedroom. And I had to explain to him that those prices, even the re our retail prices aren't expensive if you look at what you're gonna get, you know. I mean, you have to understand that we're offering you more than just a home. There's a lot that comes with that. And uh, besides, I told him a lot of the people that have purchased have taken advantage of the half price home promo. So they're not even paying that price. They're paying 50% of that price. So please guys, Check out our website to see exactly what you're getting, you know, before, uh, you know, going off on a tangent or thing. Look at what we're offering you. Um, and, you know, and I told this person that if you can come to Ghana and find a similarly priced home that, you know, offering everything that we're offering, amenities, you know, everything, and then you can find it cheaper then I, I'll give you that price plus I'll take an additional 20% off. How about that, you know? I mean, that, that's, that, you know, that's your, 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 your uh, bet there. You know, if you can come find it, like you think our pricing is so uh, <laughs> high, then hey, there's the offer. Um, but at any rate, um, 
like what we're talking about, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment, let me know what you think, and, uh, you know, and there's a few pictures. And as always, hoorah, ahuru, now be free.